For many of us parents, the sunscreen aisle is overwhelming. In fact, the Environmental Working Group says 67% of sunscreen products offer poor protection or have worrisome ingredients. So we have Katie Kimball in the studio this morning to help us navigate some options. And you have done hundreds, hour, hundreds of hours of research, mm -hmm. interviewed many experts, and really kind of uh, put your kids to the test with more than 100 sunscreens, right? Yes, my kids have endured about mm -hmm. 10 years of A-B <laughs> testing. We put two on every Absolutely. kid every time. So real quick, first let's start of why this was so important for you and your family. The more research I did on the conventional sunscreen with chemical ingredients, the more I discovered that they're endocrine disruptors, they mess with our hormones. When we read statistics about testosterone lowering by 59% in the last 40 mm -hmm. years, that is terrifying to me. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance that conventional chemical sunscreen plays a role in that and so for me that had to be off the table mm -hmm. and I wanted to figure out what was going to work and not make me look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. And talk a little bit about what ingredient it is in this natural sunscreen and what you found. There are only two mineral sunscreen actives mm -hmm. and that's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. I tend toward zinc that has a little bit of a um, safer profile and also it's the only sunscreen ingredient out of all of them, mm -hmm. chemical included, that's UVA and UVB protective, so broad spectrum. Um, so here in the middle, we've got 10 out of 100. That's it, as right. far as the ones I most recommend. Like mm -hmm. I had really high standards. So when people say like, you ha you're going to look white, yeah. I would disagree. They work, right. they rub in, and they're not toxic. I want to talk about some new legislation happening mm -hmm. in Hawaii. I think that's really important because it, it sheds light on kind of the issues surrounding the chemicals found in our conventional sunscreen, mm -hmm. if you will. Yes, so in Hawaii, there's a bill that has passed through the legislature, and if it gets signed into law by the governor, it'll go into effect in 2021. The impetus behind this is to save the coral reefs. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a study done in 2015 by Craig Downs that reflected studies in 2007 and 2008, all showing that oxybenzone and octinoxate, both uh, very common ingredients in chemical sunscreen, are damaging to coral reefs mm -hmm. and marine life. Um, and in fact, they tested the coral reefs in Hawaii and found 3,000 times the toxic limit. They say the reefs could literally die off in 10 to 15 years if we don't take measures now. I, I don't like the way that the opponents of this bill are talking okay. right now. They're, they're kind of saying, oh my goodness, everyone is going to stop wearing sunscreen and we're all going to get skin cancer. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know what? If 70% have these bad ingredients that might be banned, there's still 30% out there mm -hmm. that are like the ones that my family has tested that right. are based with zinc oxide. Talk a little bit about the science behind how it works compared to the chemical sunscreen and the way that the zinc oxide works in kind of, you know, with the sun. Sure, so both of course are trying to protect us from mm -hmm. both UVA and UVB rays. The conventional sunscreens with what we're calling chemical ingredients, right. obviously all the world is made of chemicals, right. but um, they're causing a chemical reaction on and under your skin, mm -hmm. and that chemical reaction is a little bit unstable. It releases free radicals, so those are cancer causing, mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons that I stay away from those. Zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are both minerals. They're very stable, and so when they absorb those UVA and UVB rays, they just give off heat, mm -hmm. which is, of course, not a big problem, mm -hmm. and they also will not degrade in the sun, which mm -hmm. is huge. The other sunscreens, are, the reason you have to reapply after two hours is that they're actually degrading in mm -hmm. the sun and becoming ineffective, whereas zinc oxide, as long as it's on your skin, it's working to protect you. What would your biggest message be, I guess, to parents listening who maybe are even a little overwhelmed hearing mm -hmm. this, right? Um, to kind of, where, where should they begin? This is one that's easy. You don't have to have a new habit. You just have to buy a new brand. Reading the ingredients isn't hard. If, if you see zinc oxide by itself on a line, you're pretty much good mm -hmm. to go. Okay. Also, of course, kitchenstewardship.com slash sunscreen. Yeah. We've tested 100, right. so we'll kind of lead you in and the right direction. And you can find the top 10 picks right there. Uh, that website is right there on your screen. I'm not going to lie, during commercial break, I hopped on Amazon Prime and already ordered, you know, the raw elements and mm -hmm. the sticks. One so. of our favorites. All right, well, appreciate you coming in again. You can find Katie's top 10 pick on her website.